Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum I am Zoya Zafar and our course title is communication skills so uh, this is our second lecture on narration uh, we can say this is the second part of our uh, first lecture so in the previous lecture we were discussing uh, what is narration what is direct speech what is indirect speech what are the key words and uh, uh, what are the changes occur when we were uh, we will converting direct speech into indirect speech uh, there are some uh, changes in places some changes in uh, time some changes uh, in some words and uh, there are changes in uh, tenses so these are uh, these all we were discussing in the previous lecture so here we are discussing uh, what uh, uh, different types of sentences in narration so the first one is assertive sentences uh, assertive senten sentences are uh, sentences that are used to state information means that they convey some uh, sort of information they are the most commonly used type of sentence so uh, when uh, there is an object after reporting verb change say to into tell says to into tell said to into told mean these changes may occur uh, if there is no object after the reporting verb do not change the verb uh, then remembers to is not used after tell or told uh, then remove comma and inverted commas and use that in place of the opening quote and then if object of the reporting verb is found in reported speech instead of reporting verb itself make it object of the reporting verb then changes pronoun and tense of the verb of reported speech according to the rules so these are the changes these are some minor changes which occur and convert the direct speech into indirect speech so here's the some example means rahila said i had done my work when we convert into indirect speech rahila said that she had done her work that means there is uh, the change of tense of reported speech means a direct indirect to speech i had done my work is the ten, uh, the tense which is used in reported speech is perfect and uh, when uh, we convert into indirect so the, uh, it uh, remains same when the now, now see the other example rabia said to me i cannot help you in my work and when we convert into indirect rabia told me that so he said to convert it into told and to is not used with told then that he could not help you in my work so here uh, the, the changes may occur and then he said i am innocent when we convert into indirect the thief said that he was innocent uh, that uh, change or uh, occur in the reported speech means direct speech reported uh, direct uh, reported speech as i am innocent is in present tense and when we convert into uh, indirected so it uh, convert into past tense so means uh, the uh, reported speech tense of direct speech is present simple and when we convert into indirect so the indirect reported speech uh, tense is uh, past simple tense now the next one is imperative sentence so what the imperative sentences are these sentences given commands or make request imperative sentences and with period so in imperative sentences reporting verb is changed into ask advice and request so uh, the thing which you will recognize recognize is or remember is uh, the reporting verb is changed into ask advice and request into these words then tense remains the same so there is no change occur in the tense then the verb is put into the infinitive too and when we use verb we use infinitive verb Two. So the example is I said take your seat. When we change into indirect, I asked. 
him to take his seat so we change the reporting verb said into the word ask and then him to take his seat take and uh, before use to uh, means infinitive to take his seat then the other example he said give me some food please so give me some food please when we convert into indirect he requested me to give him some food means that said converted into the word requested and uh, requested me and uh, to is used before gave so to give uh, him some food now the next one is interactive sentences so interactive means uh, interactive sentences are uh, the sentences which we uh, uh, which we use to ask question according to uh, uh, these sentences they end with a question mark so the first point uh, which you will be remember is a question is changed into a statement and the second is is in a direct yes or no questions reporting verb is changed into ask and inquire and if and whether is used instead of that so the example is she said are you writing a poem means when we convert it into indirect she asked me uh, now said converted into asked me and then uh, uh, when we remove inverted commas we use whether i was writing a poem the question are you writing a poem is converted into a statement i was writing a poem now the second one is i said to him do you know when she will uh, when she will go home so here again the question do you know when she will come uh, she will go home when we convert into indirect i asked him now said to him again change into i asked him if means that when we remove inverted commas we used if he knew when she good uh, she would go home the question converted into the statement so uh, these changes may occur into interactive sentences narration means when we change interactive sentences in direct into indirect these changes may occur now the next one is exclamatory sentences in uh, the exclamatory sentences are the sentences which expresses some emotions and as such and with an exclamation mark for example uh, may means the changes which may occur in the exclamatory sentences are in exclamatory sentences reporting verb is changed into exclaim with joy exclaim with sorrow exclaim with anger and exclaim with surprise so, uh, and etc that is used instead of reporting verb now the second uh, the example is he said how beautiful a place how beautiful a place is an exclamatory sentence now when we convert into in uh, indirect form uh, we say he exclaimed with joy that it was a very beautiful place so we used exclaim with joy instead of said and remove uh, the inverted commas and use that now the second example is sana said alas his father died so when we so uh, 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 now uh, uh, you can see that uh, uh, alas his father died this is the news of sorrow so we uh, say in indirect it sana exclaimed with sorrow that his father had died now the next one is optative sentences so opt optative sentences are uh, these uh, which expresses hope wish or prayer so when we change uh, uh, optative sentences into direct to indirect so we, uh, we may uh, change uh, like for making indirect speech of optative sentence said of reporting verb is changed according to the optative word of reporting speech means according to the uh, um, uh, hope wish uh, prayer according to these words we change our reporting verb a list of such word is given good morning good evening good afternoon converted into wished good night goodbye converted into wait farewell 
also converted into weight would that and all that uh, converted into wished means that the these words shows the wish so these are converted into wished so here's the some example of optative sentences uh, the first example is he said to me may you live long so here you may you live long is a phrase uh, of wish so when we convert into indirect uh, we can say we wish that i might live long so may converted into might and said to me converted into wished now the second example is she said may your enemy go to hell here it is a curse so she said uh, she cursed that my enemy might go to hell we uh, uh, we used cursed uh, in, uh, instead of said so the third example is seema said to me may god bless you with our children means uh, when we convert into indirect this is the pray so seema prayed that god might bless me with children so these are the words changed in optative sentences narration so there are some miscellaneous sentences miscellaneous sentences are sentences which are uh, uh, mingled or mixed with the e one and each other if we sen uh, in few sentences emotions were very important while converting their direct speech to indirect speech word of the same emotion is used in place of said to means with the uh, as we convert in the optative uh, according to the wish pray or uh, pray uh, um, hope so here ali said to talha may you live long so this is the wish or this is the pray to alha uh, talha from ali so when we convert into indirect ali prayed that talha might live long and in the other example she said to raza may god bless you with a son so here uh, she uh, prays uh, pray to uh, for raza so when we convert it to indirect speech she, she prayed that god might bless raza with a son so these are the miscellaneous sentences now the uh, other is short story what the short story is uh, so here's the definition of short story means uh, tells about a single event or experience when we are talking about short story so short stories tell about some uh, events or experiences uh, like uh, uh, button button chapter this is the short story when this is the fictional uh, fictional not true and uh, when we are talking about short story so it is the fictional not true it is an imaginary and uh, it had containing uh, 500 to 15000 words uh, in length means it is too uh, not too short uh, so it may uh, have 500 to 15000 words then uh, it has a beginning middle end and um, like uh, and other uh, like other stories uh, short story also have a proper beginning have a proper middle and uh, have proper end and then creates an impression on the readers and uh, a short story also create uh, or impact uh, some impression on the reader so there are some key elements of a short story these are setting characterization plot conflict climax resolution theme and point of view so we will discuss what is setting setting tells the reader where and when the story takes place means that setting is something which tells the location of the uh, place uh, location uh, then the characterization cre creation of imagery people who appear to be real to the reader the writer gives information about the characters in the story uh, for example um, uh, means characterization uh, in characterization we image some people which uh, which are not uh, exist in uh, real but we use uh, Drum, uh, we characterize these means uh, in button button norma uh, and uh, author are uh, the characterization of uh, the writer so uh, the next one is plot 
plot a series of events through which the writer reveals what is happening to worm and why so play a uh, plot is something in which we uh, or in which writer describe or reveal uh, the happening what is happening and to worm and why it will be happens the next one is conflict it is a problem in the story that needs to be resolved so uh, conflict is a problem which need to be resolved the uh, next one is climax when the action comes to its highest point of conflict so this is the climax when uh, uh, we see in the movies uh, when the movies in uh, its peak so uh, this uh, mark interval so is interval and climax are uh, something uh, some uh, resemblance so the next one is re- resolution the story's action after the climax until the end of the story the conclusion of, of the story so resolution is something the cl- conclusion uh, of the story means that uh, 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 when story's actions after the climax so this is the conclusion or the resolution the next one is theme the story's main idea theme is the story of uh, main idea of the story the message the writer intends to communicate by telling the story the last one is point of view so the point of view uh, the position of the narrator of the story and what the writer sees from that vantage point means here the point of view is that when we uh, read the story so, uh, so as a narrator what's the point we arise or we uh, are thinking about so this is the short story um, uh, now according to these uh, elements where great writers are able to use these elements of the short stories with such precision that the reader is caught up in the action of the story this is a mark of a good story and our goal as a writer so the next one is news report what is news report so according to our cause content uh, how uh, to uh, how we convert a story into a news report so what uh, what is news report so uh, before discussing what is new news report we discuss what is report writing a report uh, writing uh, a report is a statement of the result of an investigation or of any matter on which definite information is required means that uh, report is a statement or uh, uh, or the investigate uh, or the results of some investigation or the conclusions of the uh, investigation in uh, or uh, the other is a report is a systematic well organized document which defines an analysis a uh, subject or problem means it is a systematic uh, uh, work uh, and well organized document in which we define and analyze some subject or some problem the next one is why do we write reports the question arises why who, uh, why do we write reports so uh, we rep- uh, write report to represent the findings and result of some research or of some work or some uh, problem now the next one is to keep records uh, so why we uh, write reports because uh, it is in a written form and it is a, a proof or uh, uh, it is some uh, sort of proof and the next one is to tell about failures and success so when we uh, write reports we discuss uh, about fall, uh, failures and successes and some uh, good and bad points uh, uh, also says uh, some negative and positive points the next one is to tell the progress of the project or re- uh, research when we write reports we uh, tell uh, the progress of our work of our project of uh, our research to the institute to the uh, uh, research uh, to the supervisor or someone else so, uh, so why do we report uh, we write reports so we write reports for this purposes the next one is how should it be so a report aims to inform as clearly or concisely as possible it should be easy to read and professional in its presentation so uh, uh, when we uh, write report we uh, 
uh, we uh, are talking about these points means a report must b accurate concise clear and well structured mean that accurately written concise not too much long not too much short it's clear and well structured means there is a proper beginning middle and end the next one is success criteria of a good report what is the success criteria of the good report so the success criteria of a good report is right in present tense when we will write a report so it is in a present tense then write in a passive sentences and write in the third person not first and second it is write in the third person he she it and use vocabulary associated with the time first then after later finally means these types of words are used in the report when then use factual and precise descriptive language means uh, when we uh, write uh, report we use factual words which uh, uh, shows fact uh, 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 real things so uh, we use descriptive language we uh, uh, write in detail the next one is types of report what are the types of report according to the use there are two types of report external and internal so what the external report is external report that are prepared and submitted before the external parties such as shareholders government and credit institution are called external reports then what is internal report an internal report is a report in uh, are prepared by the management accountant and submitted before the different levels of management for the purpose of planning and control are called internal report so there are two types of internal report routine report and special report according to period these are the report uh, uh, types routine and special report so uh, routine, what is routine report so a report is uh, it it is otherwise called general report routine report is called general report or periodical report because uh, uh, these uh, types of reports are submitted before management at periodical intervals uh, means uh, the period of intervals may be a week uh, fortnightly monthly or yearly Uh, means uh, when we are talking about routine uh, report so sometimes uh, some reports are prepared and submitted even on daily basis so these types of reports are uh, routine reports uh, for example production reports sales reports and operating reports so these are the routine reports and when we are talking about special report we can say a report is a uh, prepared and is prepared and submitted on a request of the management for achieving a specific objective special report is written to achieve a specific objective such type of special reports do not deal with day to day problems this report is presented only after making an investigation very clearly with regard to and a specific problem which requires special attention so the examples of special reports are creation of news report uh, market uh, introducing new products so these are the uh, types of uh, sorry examples of special reports the next one is news report so but uh, so uh, for our examination or according to our course art outline we will be familiar with news report so we will discuss types of news report in detail types of news report there are two types of news report national newspaper and local newspaper report so in national newspaper report Uh, um, uh, we will report on national issues like finance, war, and politics. 
so uh, when we are uh, reporting about uh, finance uh, about some war or about some political uh, issues so this is the national newspaper report or uh, when we are talking about local newspaper reports so in this type of report we would report on action and events in the area and tend to learn tend to learn towards emotional stories so in local newspaper reports we are reporting about some actions or some events which will be held in the area so these are the types of reports now uh, uh, we see the structure of a report the structure of a news report is often compared to an inverted inverted triangle means uh, we uh, when we talk about the most important details uh, are at the top means that when we are talking about the most important details or information so it is uh, uh, right on the top and when we are talking about details and other relevant information is the uh, so it is placed in the body of the text and when we are talking about the least important in important information so it is placed at the end of the report and newspaper reports are written in columns so these are the uh, reports so next one is a newspaper report includes the following in order so uh, a, a headline uh, or byline uh, an opening paragraph or introduction further short paragraphs detail are given in order to of important and facts and opinion so first headline and byline uh, means the uh, reporter's name and pictures and in opening paragraph or introduction uh, uh, it is about uh, 25 to 40 words in length and provides the most important and interesting news first while answering who what where when and how and why are often reversed for later mean uh, in uh, opening paragraph we are answering the question who what where and when now the further short paragraph means it is about 30 to 40 words in length each one has a main idea and different fact include quotes from people involved or experts means in it we uh, quoted uh, some words or some uh, uh, sentences of uh, some experts and now the next one is detail are given in order of importance means least important details at the end of the articles we mentioned then facts and opinions so at the end of the newspaper article the facts and opinions are summarized detailing the issues or events so this is the and, and these are the points which our newspaper report includes now the next one is here uh, means time city and, uh, and the name are the sub uh, uh, mass head head now in the this is american youth collect dry, uh, dry waste in Pyeong do their bit to converse the earth on international day of climate action so this is the subheading now the heading is or the byline uh, heading is local action for a global cause now the byline is their name uh, and then opening paragraph then short paragraph details quote statement written in columns now mm, the next one is summary of reports this uh, this is the structure of a newspaper report now the next one is visual stimulus what the visual stimulus include it includes headings and photographs illustration graphs graphics and maps so what is headings or headlines so it uses size bold capital different font styles underline uh, unli underlining and sometimes color to grab attention so these are used to grab the attention of the reader means slash and grab are uh, uh, galling attacks spray these uh, uh, are uh, underlining words some are in bold some are in uh, different size and different fonts so this these are the headlines or uh, when we are talking about photographs illustration graphs graphics and uh, maps uh, they are used alongside newspaper articles to help present complex information as well as add interest and uh, 
color uh, it, uh, in it adds the interest of the reader uh, means uh, here some uh, thing which we uh, uh, mentioned to you through the arrows so the next one is language features uh, uh, they are use some language feature in news report newspaper articles news articles combine the following language features to inform entertain and pursue it means clear and concise writing uh, written in third person should be factual and accurate then should include quotes comment statements and observation from people involved or expert on the topic the next one is give people labels and should avoid racist should be accurate and balanced so in first give people labels means so that uh, means that the reader knows who they are straight away for example the minister and mr dash means uh, give people labels means when we are uh, when you are uh, writing a report about something so uh, you must write their names then should avoid racist means uh, discriminatory statements and slurs are avoided to write now the next one is should be accurate and balanced means provide facts supporting both sides of the issues the uh, 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 one more point uh, is headlines convey information and attract attention using the following so short phrases and incomplete sentences are uh, written in headlines figurative language are used and stereotype and exaggeration exaggerated words are ri uh, written in headlines headlines are very important in newspaper reports the next one is introductory paragraph means the leading paragraph of the news report most important in the report it is the most important part of the news report then provides a summary of the report means the introductory paragraph is the leading paragraph and it provides the summary of the report then answers the following question means in this introductory paragraph or leading paragraph we answered the following uh, uh, questions mean why where when how uh, uh, these things are occur or happens the next one is conclusion so uh, follow up action by the authorities means police are investigating the cause of the fire this is the example of follow up action by the authorities mean authorities uh, take an action so police are investigating the cause of the fire now the next one is appeal for information so in this section for example uh, those interested can contact the organizers at this number so this is the appeal for information then code that summarizes the story means in this section we quote someone's word like mr wahan khan the ceo told news today we are uh, we are glad to see youths coming forward to participate in this fundraising event our company supports this posi uh, positive trend so this is the a quote or the someone sayings uh, which are quoted uh, in the story or which are summarizes the story so on the next one is your report should have at least six uh, paragraph means in leading paragraph you uh, there are some uh, six section these should answer the question who what where when why and how so come up with a catchy headline and write in columns these question will be answered in columns your first paragraph should introduce the main idea of the story and answer the questions w h o who means and now the next one is your paragraph should be short and to the point so the next one is you should have referred to some of the things Uh, people said about the event written in the past tense throughout your reports and uh, in that point means when you are referring someone word so you are uh, uh, written in the past tense these words in the past tense because this uh, this is the Uh, uh opinion or uh, sorry this is the information which will uh, be given to you 
about uh, from people about the incident now the next one is your report should be easy to read and understand means the report is clear and concise and uh, it should be written in sentence so it is written in sentences uh, paragraph and should not have any spelling mistake and your report should not have any spelling mistakes so this is the report uh, re news report how you write to a news report so thank you uh, i hope it will be effective for you allah hafiz